bilateral self-expanding middle stent plus us guided hepaticogastrostomy followed by us guided gallbladder drainage in a patient with type 4 high level block an elderly lady presented with jaundice and a total bilirubin of 17 mrcp was performed and showed dilated left intrahepatic duct right anterior duct as well as right posterior duct consistent with a bismuth type 4 hyla stricture she was taken for ercp here we see a long intradudinal segment of the bile duct initially wire was advanced in the pancreatic duct and eventually bile duct cannulation was accomplished using a double wire technique contrast was injected to confirm access into the bile duct the guide wire was initially coiled in what appeared to be the right anterior duct. Next, another guide wire was now advanced in what now looks like the right anterior duct, and the previous guide wire was now advanced into the right posterior duct. A biliary sphincterotomy was performed. Prophylactic stenting of the pancreatic duct was done. Stricture dilation was performed with a 4 millimeter biliary balloon. Billy brushings were obtained. Next, first the right posterior stent uh, was placed. Here we are using a wall stent by Boston Scientific, which is being placed in the right posterior duct. Next, in the right anterior duct, we placed a silver stent by Cook. We usually like to place these stents at the end because once you place the first stent is silver, then you cannot put another stent after this. And here the stent is deployed inside the bile duct. Next, for the left intrahepatic duct, under US guidance, this was identified across the gastric wall. A 19 gauge FNA needle was advanced and contrast injected to confirm the presence in the left intrahepatic duct. A guide wire was coiled successfully towards the hilum. Six French cystodome was advanced to create a fistula tract. We followed this with placement of a geobar stent, which is a partially covered hepaticogastrostomy stent with about three centimeters deployed in the gastric lumen. She presented with fever, right upper quadrant pain, eight days later with Murphy's sign being positive, concerning for acute cholecystitis. So therefore we took her for endosonography and the gallbladder appears distended. We went ahead with placement of a lumen opposing metal stent, the hot axio stent which is now being advanced across the gastric wall into the gallbladder. The inner flange is deployed in the gallbladder. Next, the flange on the stomach side is deployed. And as you see, there's clear bile and there was pus that was seen coming out. On follow-up, she did fine, her fever resolved, her pain improved, her jaundice improved from 17 to 4.4, her brushings were positive for current cancer, and she started on chemotherapy. What you see is an hepaticogastrostomy stent here, but the bilateral hyalur stents and a cholecystogastrostomy stent in this patient. Thank you.